Por aquí era evidente. No era una puerta. No la puedo abrir. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. De momento, tiramos por aquí. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Understood. Todo. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Tutorialazo, eh? Tiene la Socom también. Yo nunca entendí por qué te salía cada vez las opciones, tío. Pero se supone que arriba ha subido el otro. Sí que me interesa. No. Me da besitos. Arriba. Yo recuerdo que habían cosas, pero exactamente no sé el qué. Ah, chaf. Ha abierto la puerta esta. No le eches. No se vale. Aprendo. Tengo que repetir los mismos errores 27 veces. Hasta que no consiga las armas no puedo empezar a amenazar a estos de aquí. Vámonos. Me da igual. Aquí hay dos puertas. De las dos estaban abiertas. De F a A Connection Bridge. Creo que primero hay que pasar por el otro. ¿Puede ser? Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution, but you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. Vale. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before. They need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? 
He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good no order. work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to strut B now. Soporte B. Estoy yendo al soporte F. Tan, 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 tan. No puedo coger nada, qué rabia. A grenade. Voy a pasar sin tirar la chaf, pero... Funcionado. Y la F. Aquí una llave de nivel 3. Te va haciendo reportes cada cierto tiempo. Así que no te lo puedes cargar. O se chiva. En M9. Ingiar. Nivel 3. Nivel 2. ¿Dónde está? El de... Hay un tío aquí arriba. ¿Dónde ha ido? Dos y nivel 3. Vale. Hay una revista que sirve para despistar a la gente. Digo yo, sabía que me podía asomar, pero no me acordaba cómo. ¿Y tú dónde está la gente? Me estoy volviendo loquísimo, eh. Está en el piso de abajo, eh. Tengo que ir al B. Joder, macho, con los timings. No puedo hacerlo así. ¿Por qué no te mueves? Vaya.
Por suerte me da igual. Lo de Albe. De la Albe. Pero bueno, teniendo la... La pistolita, pues mejor. Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connector. No fastidies. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. And once it runs out, you will fall. Y no queremos eso. Se giraba muy rápido, ¿verdad? Freeze. Are you going to shoot me? Como esta. Que no va a venir. Freeze. Huh? Freeze. What are you? Oh. Aquí o le pegas un tiro o no te dan nada. ¿Y dónde me tenía que ir yo? Han pasado cosas. No me he acordado del bump. Qué pesado. A dormir. Pueden responder, están durmiendo.
Estoy al desayuno, eh. What are you? Five today. Or rather six. Get down. Dale ahí, please, skin. mierda el nombre, Pliskin. Bueno. Where is he? Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Hmm. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nano machines. Hmm. What about the president? 
Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Tarde. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. Vamp! He's Romanian. A wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? What up, Lyothi? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Bien. Zero. Currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Mejor que no. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday.
En un momento parecía que le iba a afectar el Fox Dive, pero no. Yo que tú no lo haría. El único problema es que la Socom no tiene silenciador aún. Vale, vámonos por aquí. Jack, it's me. Otra vez. Okay, Rose. Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Yo creo que sí, pero me da bastante igual, la verdad. Ahora 20 ya. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. A ver, tenemos el codec. ¿Qué números tenemos guardados? Y uno, vale. Oh, no, no llames. 14180. Oh, me ha He's asleep. Sí. Más o menos. Por aquí. Queen. Oye, el parpadeo es necesario. Grenades. 
Ah, que no hay manera, no pillan a la indirecta, eh. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? A la porra al puente. Se va a caer. Sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. Pero todo que sacar al puente. Colonel. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Right. And that is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. Ah, a ver. ¿Para qué? Porque esto se ha reventado. Dice, está aquí, tal cual. Tiene hall. Yo diría que por aquí puede haber una bomba. ¿Por dónde? En tacetamin. O con el, set, con el detector la buscaré. Y 
complicado, pero no había abierto. NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. Lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Muy bien. Lo que acaba de decir. He's the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. <laughs> Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. <laughs> any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Hace fácil. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It 
It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own, and he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? Eh, sí. La manía tenía con repetirlo todo, eh? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of twelve bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. Tarjeta. Nivel 1. What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. The big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. 
You were supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. No sería tan fácil, ¿no? We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. Mm. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Vale. ¿Y esa frase de dónde es? ¿De Star Wars? Vale, a ver. Manía tengo con darle al botón que no es. Titín, titín. Los culan de gang. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Voy a congelar el espejo. Podía. Pues ya tenemos el L a C. Vamos a ir al B, al A, al F. ¿Y dónde voy? Puerta nivel 1.
Alcé al D. No sé si por aquí puedo llegar. Vaya. Qué mala suerte. Cámara. El D. La bomba. Freeze. Ah, por aquí en uno de estos. Freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. Y el lodo también estaba por aquí cerca, ¿verdad? que bajar a pillar al que estaba durmiendo Ya un poco. A ver, el de abajo no lo tengo descubierto. ¿Vas a venir hasta aquí? Joder, yo voy a venir. No me interesa. Freeze. No. Please don't. Me pasa por molestarme. A ti ya te he robado antes, así que a dormir. Cerrado, esto es lo que lleva al otro lado, ¿verdad? Necesito. Vale, por aquí creo que tengo que bajar primero. Que está el nodo, puede ser. Mierda, es verdad. equipo a despertarlo es que necesito a ver por dónde vienen sirve Y arriba. Si le dispare desde aquí, creo que se cae. Y me despierta. Bueno, me, me, me alerta al otro. Me despierta su la cara.
Eh, cruzaba por abajo. Sigilo. Que habían cosas que hacer. Que está reportando. Hombre. Mine detector. Y nada. Y una ración. Estoy a tope. Voy a pasar de todo y hacerlos dormir. Aquí había que hacer cosas y no recuerdo qué. de la M4 A5, el nodo Joder, macho Nothing here ¿Y aquí no había una bomba? Uh... Bueno, sí que había, pero creo que era la última que podías encontrar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era esto? Creo que tenía que encontrar primero las otras, ¿verdad? ¿O no? I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of dead cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. No esta vez. No vuelve a cometer el mismo error. I saw a female soldier, Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Y lo sabe porque... Cosas. Please, no. Please don't. A ver, una bomba in de aviones. Freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. 
Diggy, diggy, diggy. Bam. Creo que estaba mejor dejarla para la última, pero bueno. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm going to tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. La trampa. Mejor dejar este para la última. Los more eran muy importantes, creo. No los puentes ni nada. ¿eh? Luego tengo que volver aquí. Por aquí. Puerta, creo. Nothing here. Hay que ir al F, al F. Claymore. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. In, bam, mini detector. Esto creo para el combate contra Fatman puede ir muy bien. Listo. Warhouse, sé dónde está, lo que no sé cómo llegar. Oye, macho, espérate, no se vale. Ha sido tuya.
Vale, tengo que bajar ahí, pero no me acuerdo cómo. Ahí va, no sabía que había un tío aquí. Buenísimo, espérate, no se vale. Repetimos. Pero me pongo delante, no lo quiere. Para despertar. No hay ninguna puerta que me valga la pena, tío. A ver, tengo que bajar. Te lo voy a decir. Hay mu mucha gente aquí ¿eh? tocando las narices. De aquí anda. Vale, ahora voy a encontrar algún camino oculto. ¿Pero por qué? Es que tiene que pasar. Informe, puede ser. Aquí dentro no deberían encontrarlos. Busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler Building, and then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, "No, it's the Empire State." I said the Chrysler Building was in Godzilla. <laughs> We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. 
an amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That's only that. We went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched yeah, King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Eso está la chapa y se queda a gusto. Aquí la bomba <coughs> ya me la había quitado, pero el nodo. Y otra caja. Quiero la revista. Voy a sal. Hijos de perra, eh. Me cago en todo lo que se menea, que cojan la revista. Así, pero no. Unable to locate the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. Han despertado. Tengo que irme justo por donde han venido todos estos. Vale. No sé dónde me faltan bombas. Qué bien. Me cago en... Casi. Casi, pero no. En el A. Y una bomba, pero no había estado aquí yo. Que deberían quedarse dormido por horas, pero los mamones se duermen muy poco rato. Vale, ahora quiero coger todo lo que hay por aquí. Mierda dentro. Y no. O tampoco.
Pero esta es la última bomba. O sea, voy a tener que ir al helipuerto. This is Raiden. The C4 found in Strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. Good work. Only one more left to go. Yep. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never allow me. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes. Oh, yeah. Lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh. So many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield. And it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg Peter. He's gone for good. Va. Aquí, pero... Hay que deshacer el camino andado. pasa por debajo porque saltar las tuberías es muy complicado, ¿verdad? Venga, 
calla, tío, como mierda me va a ver. Y claro. A dormir me dejas tranquilo, macho. Quiero desactivar todas las bombas. Maldito ruido de las narices, eh. La primera vez que haces esto, tío, es súper asqueroso. A la bomba, ahora como ya sé dónde están más o menos. Tiki, tiki, tiki. Ah. Robert Otterberg. ¿Dónde está la de aquí? Muy fácil, detrás de una puerta. Era ahí, ¿no? Pero ¿dónde estaba? Ah, bueno, claro, era al revés. Era cerrando esta. Parece nuevo, macho. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4, and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the Strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five Struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a Strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Raiden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Hay que a la Until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. Voy a hacer todo en un video. No sé si voy a poder. El B al C. Y cruzar primero. La peluca se le mueve. Green Hall. Perfecto. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. 
How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right, move! Get to the bottom of strut A now! Corte A. En 480 secundi. Pese al D. El D. No, es al revés, ¿no? Al revés. Yo creo que más o menos tardaría lo mismo. No recuerdo muy bien dónde estaba. ¡Qué ladras! ¡Qué pesado el maldito drone! Para ti. Tengo tiempo. Eh. Ala es un paso. ¿Te había hecho ya dormir ya? Pesados, macho. Pum, brum. Ahí va. De 126 minutos. Vale, digo segundo. Un poco más de 5 minutos. Para encontrar la bomba que estará por algún lado. Right, Pliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave. With a seven foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest, Pete, get the hell out of there. There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Interferencias. Perdida la señal. Eh, hoy en el combate aquí, creo.
Y esto estaba... ¿Dónde estaba? De acuerdo. Ah, ya me acuerdo lo que había que hacer. todo, pero... Bajo el agua no estaba, ¿no? No me acuerdo. Puede ser que no me acuerde, tío. In extremis, me acordado. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed, and the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell one was unaffected. The price was high, but the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Vale, ahora se viene. Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed, shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the president. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt. They're all in danger. Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, looks like he's turned his radio off too. 
I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not, not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. Oh, vaya. Elito. Happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Encima se va al ascensor. Si es que todo mal. Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune. Lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry. Kill me, please. Qué pesada. Encima apenas tiene vida la tía. No tiene vida, pero como es inmortal... Está liando la tía. Tengo un sitio donde esconderme ya. Es que me mata. Right, Fatman just contacted us directly. Fatman called us. Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you, right? What? He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look, this is really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. 400 oh, seconds remain. Vaya, otra vez. So he's planning on taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? None. There's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say.
Ir šo tā gīmrei. I'll take over Queen. What is it? It seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes, this could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows, but he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right, I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one, really. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later, then. Now! Alguien ha esquivado las balas, pero se las ha comido otro. I thought you could give me peace. Pero dispara de tan cerca, no puede fallar. But you couldn't kill me either. <laughs> Tanto que es un vampiro. There's no need for sorrow, Queen. I died once already. Them. I can't die twice. Discrepo. Hay que llegar hasta Batman. Me han dejado reponer las las cosas de reponer. Me acordaba yo de esto. Oh, vale. O no me ha visto, nadie lo sabe. Increíble. Oh, 
trees. No tiene nada, ¿no? Pues a dormir. Y ya eso. Es que no tengo tiempo, tú. F A. ¿Dónde estaba? Más cerca de F. No me acuerdo. Qué bien. Warehouse. Completamente igual. Pero hay minas. No tenía ganas de comprobarlo, la verdad. Y por aquí voy bien. Cállate. Había que poner la. Te ponías en las cajas y te llevaban a sitios. Pero no me acuerdo si alguno era valía la pena o no. De todas formas, ahora no es el momento. Y siempre tengo que hacer esto en las escaleras, tío. Es que no puedo evitarlo. No con ballet. Y una bomba. Está oculta. ¿Dónde estará la bomba? A ver, espérate que soy imbécil. So you're the one. You're right on time, I see. I like a punctual man. Is he dead, Sal? I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. And the most. Can you hear it? Hear this rhythm? It's the rhythm of time. And life. Voz es asquerosísimo. Don't you know I used to hang around department store clock counter. Tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. Oh. Yum. Good year. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple. To be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts! No one's gonna give a damn about you! Oh yes, they will. I'll go down in history. Yo sí que me acuerdo, sí. De las que era el combate. That's the only reason I assisted them. Like hell you beat Stillman. He had your number. What did you say? You have nothing of his courage. Or... <laughs> What are you laughing at? That croc died a dishonorable death six months ago. Six months ago. The liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what you want. Only the right stuff survived that hell. Set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. So that I can become the emperor among detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember you. How dare you! I'm an artist! That 
is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party. This is how it works. I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move! Dedito el sensor, ¿verdad? Mierda. Perdí una oportunidad de pegarle un tiro en la cabeza. Creo que si lo dormías te daba la... La docta, puede ser. Hijo de perro. Encima falla más que una escopeta de feria, maldito imbécil. Nada que no. No te voy a dar ni un tiro. Pero sin bala. Cancino. Ya poca vida, pero me va a tocar la nariz una vez más.
Mejor. No tenía la policía en puerta. La pistola. Voy a morir de sangrado, por cierto. My suit. Oh no. I've nothing to wear to the party. The party's over for you. That's what you think. What do you mean? you just do? What is this? I have beautiful hands. These delicate hands can craft works of art. La bomba mola muchísimo. La primera vez me... Bueno, la primera vez me costó encontrarla porque no pensé dónde estaba. La estuve buscando y explotó y morí. Pero ahora ya sé dónde está. Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Es ya muy cerca. Hay que tener pistas el asqueroso, eh. Go ahead, shoot me. I'm already dead. Damn. Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big show with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb. That's your problem. This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy too. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat. ¿Dónde estará la bomba? De perra, eh. Ah, la docta te la da igual. Mola. Hala. Good work, Raiden. Looks like all the bombs are neutralized. One of their main leverages is now gone. That leaves. Colonel, that man didn't seem to know about the ransom demands. Intentionally kept in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Mm -hmm. Raiden, a lot of hostages, our president included, are still in danger. Keep your mind focused on protecting them. <sighs> What are my orders? Rescue the president. We have no idea where he is. You haven't been in the Central Core yet. I suggest you start there. Wait, I have another call. Want me to take it? No, I'll go offline. Best to keep our presence unknown. Inyama. How you doing, kid? Pliskin, is everything all right? Could be better. Looks like I was out cold for a while. How did you manage to stay alive? Had a little help from a friend. Friend? What about the bomb? Diffused. And Fat Man, too. That's good news. How's Shell, too? It's a mess. The bomb crippled H Strut. What about the toxins? The what? If the big shell blows up, the explosion is expected to produce massive amounts of toxins. Never heard anything about that. Huh? Well, looks like there's not much danger of that in any case. But the central core is starting to flood. It won't last much longer. Well, what about the president and the other hostages? They weren't in shell two. They must be in shell one. We need to get the hostages out of here now. It's too far from Manhattan for a swim. What about the lifeboats? There doesn't seem to be any. Doesn't make sense. So a chopper is our only extraction? Right. And it comes with a passenger limit. Intel has it that there are about 30 hostages. It'd take more than a single trip. We'll have to come back. Can you pilot a chopper? No. 
But I brought a gearhead with me. He's a good guy. I'll introduce you later. Pliskin, I'm on the heliport right now, but I don't see their Harrier. It's out somewhere. We better move now, then. Our chances with a Harrier after us are close to nothing. Do you know where the President is? No. That one's all yours. The President is at the top of our rescue list. These are our orders, Lieutenant J.G. Your orders, not mine. What? See you later. What? What? Nada. Cuento, creo que lo voy a dejar por aquí. Conseguido desactivar un montón de cosas. Era el objetivo de hoy. Identify yourself. Unlike you, I have no name. Are you Mr. X? Hmm, if you like. But come, let's get out of the open. Follow me. No, pero de que me van a contar otro tostonaco, ¿sabes? Yo me quería ir para dejarlo hoy pronto. Are you with Foxhound too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Lubelo. Por code, ¿qué más secreto? Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. All right. Why did you contact me? I've been ordered to give you backup, including the relaying of necessary intel. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. I'll decide whether I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. <sighs> I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the president. What? Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the president. Who is it? A secret service agent named Ames, currently being held with other hostages. Secret service, huh? The head of the president's security detail, Ames has been fitted with the same type of VIP nano machine system as the president. If you are within range, you should be able to communicate. Why are you telling me this? Do I need to repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe any of this. You understand that? Of course, but you also have no choice but to believe. <sighs> Do you have any other leads? Where are those hostages? <laughs> The hostages are being held in the B1 conference hall in the Shell 1 core. You'll find Ames there. What does he look like? We don't know if it is indeed a he. I've never met this person either. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in the heartbeat. You expect me to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect and amplify. You'd be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. Vale. Take this. The security guard will unlock all level 2 security doors, including the one into the core. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electronic field. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the terrorists? Camouflage. The surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. You want me to disguise myself? Men assigned to the core and those on perimeter duty are given different colors to wear. Your new outfit will work in some areas, not others. The uniform alone won't fool them either. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the core section carry AKs. What are cosas? So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? 
you'll also have to pass a retinal scan to get into the conference hall. That's not fussy. Biometrics. Crap. Nothing but the real thing will suffice. Deception is not an option here. I suggest you hurry. They have the nuke on their side. The nuke? They have a nuclear weapon with them? You didn't find their continuing presence here unusual? Even with the president as hostage, this is an island, and they have no visible means of escape. Even if they do have a nuke, the warhead is no good without an access code. The security lockout can't be bypassed. They don't need to. They have the code. You saw it too, I believe. The Navy man will have a handcuff. The other half of it is on the football, or the black case if you like. The nuclear button. And now they have it. Demasiado fácil de conseguir, ¿no? Why did they have to bring the football along? To a decontamination plant of all places. But they did have to. Because, after all, the big shell is the farthest thing from a cleanup plant there is. What? Dead Cell didn't have to bring a nuke along with them. It was right here to begin with. Nothing in this affair is what it seems. A cover-up. But why? For what? For the Metal Gear that is housed here. Bye. Metal Gear? The very same. My metal nuke came upon the airport Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Better ask games the rest. What's this for? You might be glad you have it. Keep the controller's vibration function on. What do I need a cell phone for? O para que te llamen por teléfono. ¿Para qué va a ser? Colonel, who is that man just now? He's not one of ours. No, we have no one like that in our unit. He said that the big shell was housing a new model of Metal Gear. First I've heard of it. Colonel, what are you not telling me? I've been completely open with you, Raiden. I've told you everything. Is that everything you know? Or everything I need to know? Snap out of it, Raiden. I'll have the Metal Gear rumor looked into. You need to make contact with this Ames. So you believe that, Ninja? Since we have no leads on the President's current location, we have no other alternatives. Right now, collect as much data as you can, including anything on Metal Gear. Are those my orders? Yes, they are. Disguise yourself as an enemy soldier and infiltrate the Shell One. Hay que ir a por munición, pero bueno, eso. Por armas y a por todo. Pero eso ya será mañana. Hoy ya estamos. Uy, ¿cuándo he conseguido? Ah, vale. Uniforme. Y el teléfono. Recibir emails, qué moderno, ¿eh? Pues lo dicho, lo dejamos por aquí y mañana seguiremos con la historia. Que ya no la conocemos, pero bueno, nunca está de más volver a jugarlo. Así que eso, mañana más y mejor. Adiós.